Hello to you from the banks of the Douro. We're in Portugal tonight in the city of Porto, getting ready for European action. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It's Porto up against Roma. Well, the visitors played really well in the home leg, gaining that small lead. But this is a different story, away from their ground, away from their fans. Who knows how they're going to react? Really excited about this one, Derek. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, the formation tonight might be 4 4 2, but I think it's fair to say, Lee, it's 4 4 2 with a difference. Well, it is. You've got that holding midfield player just in front of the back four. The width comes from the wide players and the overlapping fullbacks. The two up front would be supplied with ammunition from that player in midfield just playing in that number 10 area. This is the Roma starting 11. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Well, regaining possession for his side, cleverly. Marega, and I must say it's a fine-looking attack, but what can they do from this position? Options are plenty. De Rossi. Alex Tellez has it. Jesus Corona and Suarez with it well he was just a fraction offside then that's all he needs to be a fraction and it was so close De Rossi here's Cristante Lorenzi on the ball. Brian Tristante couldn't keep it. Here's Hector Herrera. And Suarez with it. Yassine Brahimi. Marega. Could really have to switch on the turbo to get to that pass. Marega, clattered away, Brian Tristante, now Dzeko, El Sharawi has it, Dzeko, Pastore, De Rossi, here's Tristante, Pastore with it, making excellent progress with the ball at his feet, Marega, now with Hector Herrera, and Suarez with it, it's with Alex Tenez, Porto have given it away. It's with Kolarov, Kostas Manolas, 
Daniele De Rossi. De Rossi. Now Dzeko. Tremendous ball played through. He had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. De Rossi. Astore. Kolodov. Crossing possibilities. Well, far from the cross he had in mind. Goal kick it is. Hector Herrera. He's been a bit unlucky. Porto have given it away. And it's a quality pass. It just needs to remain icy cool. And Genghis Undev. Oh, it's gone in! And you have to feel for him now. It will go down as an own goal. Well, let's see that again. I don't want to look at it as a former defender. I've scored a few of these in my time, and they were always my fault. Got blamed for all of them. Important the players pick him up from here on in. Well, now on aggregate, 2-0 they lead. It's with Danilo Pereira. Suarez. Marega. Now Dzeko. Daniele De Rossi. And attempting the throw ball. Genghis Under. So a throw in here. Brian Tristante. It was intended for Dzeko. That's a corner. So the corner played into the box. Thumps clear. Running with the ball confidently. Lorenzi on the ball. Cristante. There will be a minimum of it's with Cengiz Under. Corner coming up. And over comes the corner. No nonsense clearance. Corner again. And that's a deep corner. Might be a chance here. Well, first rate goalkeeping. Oh, he can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. So it is, the first half story has been written.